Good morning and welcome to Aqua Adventure Water Park. This is the water park attached to the Atlantis on the Palm. We're so excited to be here. And because we're staying at the hotel, we have free access to the water park. So our plan is to be here all day, go through each section of the water park and ride as many rides as we can. Now we had a big debate this morning if we should spend the extra money to get the Aqua Express Pass, like your fast pass for the water slides. And the lady who was kind of dealing with tickets, again ours were free because we're staying at the hotel, but the lady who was in charge of tickets suggested we wait on that. And if it gets crowded later, we can always come back and buy it. And I think her advice was pretty, pretty well uh, received. It's not that crowded, it's a Monday morning. It's about 10 a.m. and it looks like we made the right choice to not pre-buy those. So if we need them later, we can always come back. But Kelly and the kids are out there having a good time. And I'll show you on the map. Right now, they are at this Splasher's Island. Splasher Mountain is kind of one and the same. But we are gonna work our way through all the different Neptune Tower, Poseidon Tower, Splasher Lagoon and Cove, Trident Tower. We're gonna go through all these. We're gonna try to hit each one of these rides. And it's basically gonna be me, Granite, and Cedar while Kelly and Forrest take advantage of this kind of the kid-friendly area. And maybe Kelly and I will rotate throughout the day. But our goal in this video is to show you sort of how to manage things as a family, what expenses can you expect in terms of like food costs. Again, free to get in if you stay at the hotel like we did. And uh, we'll just show you the slides and again, what that looks like through the eyes of a family. All right, we're gonna get started. First up in the little kids area are these awesome water slides here. Now we're doing this with Forrest to sort of give him a good time before we start heading over to the big ones. But as you can see, Forrest being two, the lifeguard's very helpful. Getting them arranged. Woo! This area is the perfect spot for a, I said two year old, actually he just turned three. So a three year old area, this is perfect. Over there is a bit bigger, but either way for a three year old, this is, uh, this is the place you wanna land. Uh, very cool. Up uh, next in the kind of the smaller kids area is this huge mountain structure. And again, this one might be a little too much for our three-year-old, but it looks like with Kelly there, it wouldn't be too bad. But you can see it's super elaborate and really big. We'll see how long he lasts here. It might be too much, but even in this area, there's little slides like this. look great but even if these slides are too big for them as they go up you know there's still all the run around splash areas this is okay plenty of lifeguards and this will be the place where again kelly sort of hangs with force while we head over to uh our first one which is going to be the neptune tower all right up next on the big slides we've got the neptune's tower now this is a place where you're going to need your inner tubes so we had a sort of a run around to find them but ultimately we did find them over by the uh, lazy river so here we are and it looks like this is a multi ride situation so we've got all the different levels we've got the falls the stinger the plunge shark attack the surge leap of faith so our goal is to ride all of these and showcase uh what it's like uh, with a nine and seven year old here we go hello Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Good. We're doing great. Our first ride of the day. Yeah. It's really fun. More fun. Can you face it again? Here we go. And again, no lines at all. There we go. Oh boy. We got the falls, and this is fantastic. No one else in line yet. We're getting pretty lucky with this so far right now. All right, here we go, the falls.
see 11 o'clock. I know the lights are going, but there's zero waits except for the last two. There's four minutes. So it's really not been that crowded as we work our way to the Tower of Poseidon. Oh, this would be great. kids are over 1.2 meters and Cedar just made the cut so we are good to go on basically all these water slides.
about a little bit of a sweet treat. We've had a fun day at the water park, but now we're gonna end with some gelato. And there is uh, all types of yummy places. Hello. So we got the gelato stand here. Do you guys know what you want? Yeah, cookies okay. and cream. Cookies and cream? Yeah. Cookies and cream? Okay, so we'll take two of the half cookies and cream, one pistache, no, one salted caramel, and one coconut, all smalls. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, so I want to talk to you about the food prices. Now, we did not buy any sort of real food here besides these treats. Uh, but as we've walked around, I've noticed that food costs anywhere from 40 to 90 durham. So it's just sort of all over the scale, depending. I mean, they're going to have all types of like um, carnival food, hot dogs, pizza. They're also going to have things like um, more healthy things. I saw poke bowls and salad and things like that. So you do have a variety of options. But uh, for us, we're going to settle on the ice cream. All right. All right, cookies and cream for cedar. Another kind of rice All here. right. And Perfect. Me. So 145 durham. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much. It looks great. Appreciate it. Woohoo! Ice cream. Oh, you got salted caramel. Oh, thank you. Delicious. Yeah. So <laughs> coconut and salted caramel. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Gelato. Oh, it's good. Okay, how was your day at the park here with the uh, forest? This was great. Forest played all day on all these slides. This was perfect for a two-year-old, three-year-old. So many kids, but uh, it was great getting here early. It was empty and now it's gotten crowded, but um, yeah, he just played now he's sleeping. Yeah. So this is even even better. <laughs> that guy didn't, didn't make it. But, he tried hard. Yeah, and so we, again, getting here early, we opted not to buy the fast pass. We were about to, but again, it was the sales lady uh, that suggested just wait, and if it gets busy, we can always buy it later. And that was a great call. Uh, so we saved quite a lot of money. And again, our tickets were free because we're staying at the hotel. So it really ended up costing us the cost of four gelatos uh, for all day of uh, fun. And it was great. I hope you enjoyed the look at the uh, adventure park here. It was a lot of fun and what a great day. All right, we'll see you in the next episode.